Hey guys, welcome to Tennessee DIY. Just wanted to show you the way you can transport these T Wings Mars XTR. We've got about almost 400 miles on these already, and um, check it out. I built this little DIY carrier because, as you know, they can fold, but if you don't want to take the time to fold them down, I'll show you how much distance I've got. So, basically, you know, I've got a good five six inches there uh, from the back tire and I'll show you the way I take it off and then the same on this one so it's up there good and if you notice here the exhaust is way down here so you don't have to worry about any heat coming on your scooter I've got it's basically like a hitch step that you could probably get on Amazon but I made mine for like 18 bucks by buying a hitch piece and um of course the cat is enjoying it as well but yeah um it literally goes right up on top guys so easy and so much clearance space here there's nothing that is hitting the car so much space here for the handles it really does clear it nicely guys and um just totally easy peasy so what i do is i'll take some straps and I'll put a strap right around here. It goes underneath on the rubber on this pad, straps it down tight, and then I do another strap that straps it down real tight right there. And that keeps it from going either way. It has enough weight that when you're driving, it's not gonna go anywhere. And then what I'll do is right here, I have a small strap. The cat, I can't show, show you what I'm doing. Watch out, buddy. And put a strap here, and then a strap right over to this portion. Keep this tight, and do the same thing right back here. Just strap it back here over to this arm right here and that will keep the handlebars from doing this number while you're driving you don't want it does, it's not like it hits anything if you can see mirrors and everything nothing hits there's so much space but still you don't want that just free 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 flopping in the wind but yeah guys um i'll go ahead and pause this and then show you um how i put it on here so guys i want to show you how easy it is to put it on the car um, you don't have to lift the scooter up watch this so right here you got the arm going down to the um, back of the axle of the rear wheel so all I'm basically doing tipping all the way forward and the front tire catches right there and I never lifted hardly any weight and just that easy guys I didn't lift any weight and just that easy it came right off the car so, um, seriously, the easiest thing ever, okay? All I did on Amazon is I got like this black. All right, come here, kitty. You keep getting the video. So, there's this little black um, metal bracket that hooks into your trailer hitch. And if you can see that, it has some arms on the side and it bolts up underneath that wood right there on the trailer hitch. And then what I did is I put some like tar roofing undercoating on here just to give it a good waterproof on a heavy duty weather treated plank. And then got me some of that rubber at Tractor Supply. I actually had some scraps so that didn't cost me anything. Screwed it down with some black screws and put a little tar over the top of it guys. And this thing literally just slides in and out right of your um, hitch. It makes it so easy. 134 pound scooter and it's the trailer hitch is rated at 200 pounds so no sweat no problem at all but yeah guys check this out we are running t-wing focus 379 miles and we did a ride today let's see 39 mile per hour top speed today we just took a small cruising ride and um it's dark out here so i'm gonna show you the how nice this looks got little flashers of course the cat loves it as well checking everything out and um, you got the beautiful flashers on the back and then show you the little side lights at night this looks so cool at night it's pretty dusky out here guys so if the video's a little grainy and then that headlight is just really impressive look at that got the mirrors tucked in when you're not drying them but yeah guys you can see how bright that light is 
it'll blind you. It's literally blinding me right now. But, um, yeah, that little step, it's like a hitch step, guys. You could actually get one on Amazon, but my car has a one and one fourth hitch, so I couldn't find anything. I didn't want to get the little extender to make more weight come out the back side of it. So, anyway, um, I kind of just want to show you how I got that set up and how that's working, and I like it. So, yeah, guys, if you like that, um, let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any questions how I made it, feel free to throw those in the comment. And, um, yeah, I got two of these XDRs. They're just amazing. But, like I said, sometimes I just want to ride out one way, throw that in the back of my wife's car, and then she'll pick me up. We'll go to dinner, and I'll just throw this on the back. It makes it really, really nice. But, yeah, guys, thanks for stopping by again. And I thought I'd just show that to you. When I ride a lot, I wear one of these real bright reflective orange jackets just because I want to be visible and um, want people to see me. But, um, yeah, um, today was just a nice, easy 25-mile-an-hour ride. Half a face helmet just because we're taking it easy. Took a nice, long 40-mile ride, and it's beautiful. Love it. All right, guys, if you like it, subscribe. Share with your friends. Thumbs up. Thanks so much.